your tomato plant. Well, luckily it didn't get this one because it was hidden amongst the weeds. But it ate, the groundhog got to it. Look at this tomato plant. Yeah. Man, these ice plants are really popping too. Mm -hmm. We're supposed to get really hot for the next five days too, guys. So we're running and going and get a load of mulch and then we're gonna come back and start painting the stones, right? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning, Rach. How are you? Good. So today. what are we doing today? Well, today we're gonna work on more of the healing garden. Um, sorry, it's so bright out here. There's yeah. not a cloud in the sky. Not a cloud. Today. Not a cloud. That's why I think it's going to be so hot. So as you notice in the background, there is a rainbow um, stone. If mm -hmm. you can see it back there, right behind Rachel. Yeah, the flagstone. So this is part of our healing garden project, and we are going to paint these stones in a rainbow pattern. Yes. I came up, we were originally going to do them, what, every we were color? Gonna, yeah, we were going to do red, orange, yellow, green, like the whole... Um, right red orange yellow green blue and purple yeah so six colors we were gonna do and just, and then just do a solid pattern, color right a solid color walkway then coral came up with this he likes to like throw me for a loop last minute you know he likes to change stuff up keep me <laughs> on my toes and he was like well do you think i can do that and i'm like well let's go try it so we did have one extra stone one extra flagstone and he tried it and the client loves it so that's what we're gonna do with all of them now. So I'm gonna get ready to paint this, so then we're gonna head over there and do, we're gonna mow it, do some of the mulch, get another little mulch, come back, and then we'll see how these are doing today, uh, so far. Yeah, and then, right, because we're not 100% sure if we're gonna clear coat them yet or not. Um, I think we should, it's just the weather protection yeah. thing, so. Okay, we'll look at it. Yeah. So here's the first practice stone we did. I'm gonna touch it up with the yellow there, mm -hmm. and then Rachel. We're because gonna you clear kicked coat it. it. I kicked it to see purpose. how the yellow, and this was not too long after it was painted. So yeah. But I think walking on it isn't gonna affect it much. Um, no. It is paint, and paint does stay on rocks pretty good. I mean, people do put graffiti all over brick and stuff. True, true. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna go ahead and paint all these stones. Yeah. Let's get to work. Man, it is really hot. Yeah, it's definitely hot. <laughs> but that's good. All the lawns will dry up today now. Do you guys think it looks pretty so far? Man, wait till you see it's all together on the road bond. And then the mulch. Yeah. I don't, yeah. See how just when you have the first two colors or three colors. It looks pretty, but. It doesn't pop. No, and I actually think that once you clear coated this one, it pops even more. Yeah. Like, it just still looks wet, which is really cool, but. As you guys can see, I got all the stepping stones painted the first coat. This is gonna be the walkway. We're gonna go lay the rest of this mulch, or we're gonna go start laying this mulch down in the back of the truck. Let this dry, come back, hit it with another coat of paint and do the sides down too, just to make sure when you're walking down the pathway, um, you can see the rainbow on the sides too. 
then we're gonna clear coat everything and then we might make it over there to put the stones, set them down in the pathway. So we'll have to see. So guys, we're back here. We're gonna hurry up and unload this mulch into the middle because the mulch yard closes and we wanted to get at least two. Um, and this is where the flagstone rainbows go. Yeah, I think that looks about right. I mean, it might be arced a little more here. So I'm gonna go ahead and re-edge these beds and weed eat these so we can start laying the mulch in here. Hear the birds? Mm -hmm. It almost sounds like a seagull. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Are we near the beach now? Too bad we can't keep ours from turning green. I know. I'm not a pool expert. That should be good, though. Okay. So there you go. We just threw the mulch out real quick because we got to get back to the mulch yard and then we'll yeah. go back and spray the stones again. Yeah. And then come here and mow and mulch. Are you leave your weed eater? You don't need it. Right? No, I don't need it. Nobody's going to take it here. We're in the middle of the woods kind of okay so i'm back out here i'm gonna give this uh these stones a second coat i kind of laid out the pathway we're not there to lay out the pathway um but i looked at some video to try to get sort of the arc i mean we can adjust them and stuff there but this is kind of what it's going to be like right here it might arc down a little bit more, but we have an extra stone if we have to make a bigger arc. But I think so far it looks pretty good. And did this dry fine, I think? Yeah, with the clear coat we put on it. Okay, so let me finish giving these a second coat. Um, and then we're going to go back over there, mow the yard, lay down the mulch, and then we'll come back here and then clear coat these and then take them over there and just rough set them over there, I think. So we'll, we'll see what we get done. Um, we got all these painted for a second coat. I hit some of the sides. Um, we're not going to clear coat them yet. We were going to go mow the yard, put the mulch down, come back and get these. But we want to make sure that um, we have the stones over there to show them if they're there. So because they're really excited about it. So let's um, go ahead and load these stones up into the trailer. And we'll get over there and start setting all these stones. We'll mow the grass first. Um, and then we'll start getting all these into place. And the reason I didn't, I'm not going to clear coat them here is because um, I'm kind of a perfect, not perfectionist. I just like it to be neat. And once I set them where they're going to be, I want to make sure that like the blue part of the rainbow isn't kinked up that way. If I have to hit the corner to make it look like the better arc, then I'll do that. Rachel's like, ah, oh, I think it looks perfect. But I'm... Um, I want to make sure it's really good. So I'm going to go in the house for a minute, get a drink, and then we're going to get ready to go. And look at this, guys. Paige. And Ka I think Paige made them all. I'm not sure if Kayla helped. But she has little plaques for every one of the chickens. 
Um, if you guys don't know, if you're new subscribers, we have, I think, 32 chickens, and she named every one of them. She's building a plaque, and they're doing a Jurassic theme park type area over there for them. I'll have to show you guys that later. But let's go in the house and get a drink. Look guys, Rachel mowed and we needed this whole property. While I messed around with these. So the only thing I have left to do is I gotta give that last stone another touch up um, and then I'm gonna clear coat all these and then we're gonna spread all this mulch. I'm not gonna set the stones yet until they dry. It'll involve me putting a little bit of dirt underneath them, wiggling them around a little bit to make sure they can be walked on. But I want to make sure I can walk on them first. So there you go. Not bad, Rach. Not bad. But guess what? Thanks to Rachel's talking to the client, we now have to mulch all that, all up the driveway, the rings, this tree, and then... Lift that tree. Oh, lift the tree up over here. I came up with the idea to lift that tree so you can see the garden better. But this is what we got done so far. Man, them stones pop, don't yes, they? Yes, they do. Now, I do have to level them all down, guys. Well, we have the paver sand right there. We're not going to do that now, though. I still got to clear coat them. Yeah. But I really like this. The client's really happy.
So when we come back, I'll clear coat these. Um, and then we'll put the border around, straighten them up. Uh, then we'll get to, while I'm doing all that, Rachel, we'll be mulching all this. Right? Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Not bad for a day's work. I'm mulch on my face still. I'm sorry. So we had to do an ending on my phone because I have so many videos recorded on that phone and it died. So you guys seen we did more progress on that mulch in the healing garden. The client absolutely loves it. Mm -hmm. So I, I like how it turned out. That rainbow pattern was the last minute decision that I had made. Yeah. Um, to we were originally going to, oh, I already told you guys this. We yeah. were originally going to do a solid color for each stepping stone and, um, and the child that it's for he's a doctor so that's why it's a healing garden but the child that it's for um she thought that it was going to be like an actual rainbow like with all these little pieces and he said no honey they can't do that um but he said that she is gonna absolutely love this i mean so. we could have done something like that but it been a lot more expensive it more time consuming yeah. Um, a lot more time a better base we would have had to put down like a uh, more level mm -hmm. um yeah to do that. individual uh, yeah uh, like he would have had to cut them and interlock them and we don't do anything if you guys haven't noticed we don't do anything halfway we are very thorough. Detailed, detailed and thorough yes. and that's how come we don't have to really advertise anymore he was saying he was gonna send this out and to everybody and show yeah. everybody and i'm a little have all his nervous because yeah. yeah he's a doctor at two different hospitals so i don't know but no um it's a good thing and we definitely like to share the love yes. and we are happy that not only are they going to be able to enjoy this healing garden but hopefully many many people will be able to enjoy this healing yes. garden. So. so guys thanks for watching and stay tuned for the rest of the healing garden now mm -hmm. it won't be right after this video we'll put it all on a playlist the whole healing garden if you want to watch step by step and then we're going to do a full time lapse to start the beginning yeah at the very end so yeah. in a couple weeks you know because we're still working around fertilizing and mowing this is our mowing season normally we do projects like this early spring or late fall oh. um but this is something that we needed to get yes. done now so so yes please like comment share and subscribe and be happy guys yes or at least try have a good night have a good night